Oops. Yeah. So let's go here. So we need to go inside this chasm. Yes, I am Link. I am Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds and now I have run out. So I lost sight of him. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him he was heading away out there off to the west. Do you have any guess? Uh. And they light up. A simpler way to throw them with your hand. Okay. Oh. And fire them off into the distance down there. Uh. Although this time Robbie grabbed me in such a way that I didn't gather enough in an advance. That's fine. I have all this stuff. I was just kidding with you. What are these spum looking creatures? Let's lighten up. Lighten up this area. Alright. And brighten the surrounding area. What happened? Can I have some food? We came from there, now we need to go there. Hey, you are really dark down here, not even one bit of light goes from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright loom seats with me as one of the few sources of light. The glowing root going down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine of the surface. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root. I see shining west of here, so you better hurry up and get moving. All right, let's cook. Okay. So now let's go over there. Deep firefly cooked with an elixir will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. What is this? This note say. Staying in glooms. If a guy you don't have any bright room, it will be curtains. Then again, so I'm sure you'll be fine. It's shaped like the figure Joshua wants us to find. I will continue to head west toward one of the one of those glowing roots I see here. It's useful. Alright. This guy has gone mad. So we need to go to that place. This is more like a tutorial for the underground chasms. What is this? Pompla. One more bomb fla. Very useful stuff. Where are bright loom seeds? Should we kill them? Why not? Oh shit, what happened?
Holy crap. How about that bitch? Bloody rush is so good. Actually, I have just the tool for you. Where are you coming from? Alright. Some more zonite. Very nice. We need to further go that side. Okay. One more fortress. Jesus. How about that? Gun? Good? Let me take care of this guy as well. Oh, done already. Fine. Very good stuff. Let's break this to get some more zonite. Some more zonite. Wow. This Cosmosar zonite haven. You can get as much zonite as you want no boko boats we need a swallow boat we need to remember that rock hammer yeah all right let's go We need to go further down, huh? Good. What else? Food. Looking for some food. Dubious food is done. We need to cook some. There you are, old man. <sighs> Downright refreshing. It's so luminous. It's almost like, like we are on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. You are finally here. I need to show you what I have found. This statue is standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. This, uh, it looks uh, an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Get that camera of yours, it's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used your camera when I last spoke of. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the purest best basic features. Give me that pure pair for a second, alright. Your camera is locked and so is hyper. Alright, you press this while pull this, okay. Capture images in the pura pad so you can save them to the album. Now you should be able to use both the camera and your high view compendium. Go capture a picture. There's a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher after all. I'll want to see how it looks. All right.
right how did that go if you captured an image of that statue with your camera then hurry up and show me i'd like to see how it looks welcome guys welcome did you get a good picture stupendous looks like we have captured it well i'm sure joshua will be satisfied with this lighting up that immense route getting us a picture of the statue you just started helping us research what's down here but soon enough we are here we are going to have even more to investigate it's time to head back up to the surface see you at lookout landing don't make joshua wait too long for that picture is that it that's it that's your whole quest, was it? Let's go to lookout landing. What is this? Wait a minute. I think we found it in some archipelago. Let's go there. Let's try to go there and see for ourselves. What that thing is. What's that his spot is for? Is it further down? No. It's not further down. But I think we need to come from other way. Because we don't want to touch this this chasm. Gloom as they call it. Let's see if we come from here. Hello, hello, hello. Interesting. Mine. Daphne's Canyon Mine. Okay. Let's lighten this place up. What is this? Come boy. Where are you? Moto. Goro. Whatever you are. We need to go inside that thing. How about that? Thing, huh? Broke, that's what I expected from it. Anyway, I think we can go up. Where were you? You ass. No. Come here. What is this place? Jesus, what was that? Treasure. Okay, so that was what was marked. What do we have in it? Looks like a zonite chest. Minor stop or lookout landing. So much time is required. Joshua, Pura, hmm. 
Rito and Gorons are able to get back to the business as usual. Seems like entrusting those areas to you was the right decision. After all, it becomes as clear as day that there is a connection between Princess Zelda and the people. Things are much more serious than I previously thought. I need you to hurry to the remaining regions and soon. And we need to investigate the other village I'm concerned about too. What other village? Terry Town in Akala, northeast of here. Hudson Construction is located there. They are the same folks who will look out landing in the sky view towers. For some reason, my devices are falling near that area more than elsewhere. There has got to be a special reason for it. If you want more info, talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where they are needed and has extensive graphical knowledge. He can tell you more what I can, uh, what more than I can about various regions and peoples. Anyway, I can get help from the research division for this, but I am trusting the investigation of the remaining regions with the phenomena to you. Hey. Yes, I am kidding. All right. Anyway, if you need a refresher on what to do, check your Peter pad. Keep me posted. Anyway, we are here to talk to that lady right joshua here i come yes this is me show joshua the victory to go the statue the figure it matches up pretty well and it looks on cool too this is it this does match what's on the fragment thank you swordsman just like on the slate this figure must be showing people of some sort whoever they were which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. And what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research over. But before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the deaths found all of this. What do you think it's for? So night five. I feel as if contain as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy or something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you will find them useful. That fragment has helped us to see the depths in a new way. Now we are closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Googles. Swordsman. That gives so much for going to investigate the depths for me. It's on the house with some bulbs la 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 do we have some armors hey what are you doing here this is not a playground bitch super is come. good we are in fashion Yes, too. I am coming. I might have some Korok seeds. Need to find some Koroks as well on the way. Let me get a... What happened? I am up for a side quest. I'm sure you can thank you enough for helping our mini stable game together. Heard me talking to myself. Did you spot is the name of my beloved horse? You see, truth be told, he's missing ran away just before the stable was built. Well, he is always been a meek horse. So I can't imagine he has run too far off. He's beautiful. Just one look at his silky gentle beach coat and you would know it was him. Of course, you'd recognize his unique great appling too. That's the reason I call him spot in the first place. A horse like him, I bet you is some place with a nice view taking in the sides. Just wish I don't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Yeah. Worse yet, he's caught in this lousy rain. Spotting spot, which is got this quest from here, and we'll use this tower to find his horse. All right, let's find that horse. His horse must be somewhere here.
Actually, we should have gone in noon or something. We should have taken. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take some rest. Where is our bed? We'll come to that. Let's pass time until morning. But do expect a downstream, big down, um, you know. Let's first talk to and oh. get this. Good morning. Thank you for your hard work. I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control Headquarters. Recently, Pura asked that we spend our involvement in the search for Princess Zelda. So we have resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been running rampant since the upheaval. All three words are out hunting monsters and gathering information about recent large monster sightings. They have been sharing updates with us. Squads on oh. expeditions? Our squads, Torrin squads and Flexel squad of the Monster Control queue are taking down monsters all across Hyrule. Osquad is hunting monsters in Hyrule field to the south of Lookout Landing. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out. Please want to know about the whereouts of other squads. Let's talk about oh. Torrens. After clearing out Elden, he went to Akala. They plan to launch an attack on the monsters blocking Akala's span, which is basically the gateway to that region. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out. Please want them to know about the other. The attack oh. squad, Raxel squad, is hunting monsters in Farron to the south. They are aiming to subdue the pirate ship on the Mon Menot River on to the south of Lake Hylia, which is west of uh, Highland Stable. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out. Please want to know about the whereabouts of others? Guys? Never mind. Oh. Curious about anything else? How big monsters? Oh. Tell about a number of large monsters. Ton Talus. Oh. Our comrades out on a survey in a color report an attack on the Talus. A Talus looks like a giant mobile pile of angry rocks. Hard to miss. With our current weapons, we wouldn't be able to put a scratch on that thing. Okay. Yes, oh. let's talk about the other. Hinox. Mm. Near Vadloon Saber in Northeast Hyrule. Their intel informed a sighting of Hinox in the area. A huge one eyed beast. They are incredibly strong, so strong, in fact, that they wield trees as weapons. We would go after it, but with that kind of strength, we would be in over. Our heads, it's a real situation. I am actually reading the uh, text in between. I am reading the scripts, the dialogues with the NPCs. Would you like to ask about other monsters? Oh. Why not? Molduga. Uh. I have a report saying that a Molduga was discovered in the East Barrens in the Gerudo Desert. The report came from the ground research team and they have asked us to exterminate it. A Molduga is a terrifying beast that swims through the sand like a fish that burrows in the sand like that. Alright, so you got side quests for all the wanted beasts. Oh. And we are good to go mm. from here. I volunteer, I am enough, you don't need other people. So this is in lookout landing over here. Anyway. Do we have enough blessings? Do we have four? Yes, we have. Let's get ourselves a heart container. Hey, we got ourselves a heart. Go and bring peace to the world. All right, so now what? Wait a minute, there is another side quest coming up. Ah. Yes, there was a path after all. So if you follow it, then. Force of my broom accidentally took part of that wall. The creepy voice. Demon growling. No one claims to hear it, but I certainly do at this point. I'm pretty sure I'm settled with the demon and I'm settled with the wine. So it is. I already took care of that demon. Who goes there? Didn't I take care of that demon? Already. Awaken some demon. Let's check it out again. Because we already took care of Royal Hidden Passage. 
So this must be... Oh, something is over here. Yeah, you definitely did something. You can talk? You can hear my voice? Yes. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life, wealth, like so many of your kind. Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. I lost my life for many bargains. Didn't sit well with the goddess Helia. She turned me into this stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected, but that was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company and finally here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I have not been bidding my time for the moment when someone who can hear me appears, someone such as you. I am sure we can reach a fine beneficial arrangement. I have dealt only with fish for too long and fish make terrible bargains. Shall we strike a bargain? Hold still and don't fret. I'll take care of everything. It won't hurt a bit. What the f what just happened? He took one life of us? My touch is as subtle as ever. I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Give it back. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable is. Give me art. Give me my heart back. Good. First, you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence pack, the price rises to 120 rupees. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you, a heart container or a stamina vessel. Oh, I am eager to help temper with your essence anytime you want to return and pray here. Alright, so this is more or less like a... Um, you give hearts, you get stamina back, you give stamina back and you give hearts and something like you can exchange either of them. So, good, good side quests to do early in the game. We are done now. What happened now? I broke the anger and I will be praying it with my life. Goodbye, Robbie. Goodbye, forever. You went inside the hole. Did you find the demon? Is this goodbye for me? Wait, a demon statue was in there, you say? I know a bit about those. Want to know what I know? Of course. Life and daughters by the wrath of the gods. God has fallen to ruin. Then that must mean the haunt statue is an entity with deals in life and power. Which would make the deals the place where it was enshrined. Back when it was still a god. So the voice I heard was a forlorn haunt statue. As there is a goddess of light, then it follows that... She would have an opposite, the horn god. Light, light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. Their power manifests through the other's existence. Ah. Knocking a hole in the wall, that was great, no doubt about it. I can't go in there, but I'll keep this area kick and spam. And I'll be sure to greet the horn statue and from there too. Oh, and thanks, you know, take this. Red rupee. Next month, but now it's your spending alone. Thanks for clearing this whole thing off. Right, trying to roll off whole nose and get back to work. All right, so this is complete. Let's hear some news. Oh. Unubo Gardener, it's marble drop that has been affected. The Gorons has vanished, and Unubo Co, who was responsible for digging it up, has announced a commitment to restoring Goron City. I hope that means they'll reopen their gem stores. If I remember right, their prices are really, really good, like half the normal price. There is so much to read in these newspapers. Leave you be. If you want to know what's happening in the world, chatting at a stable is the best way newspapers are handy too, though. All right, I think we can. All right, let's move on. <coughs> Sorry. 
let's now let's look for that horse look the guy was looking for that horse no spotting the spot it was called spotting the spot there it is and there is our tower to get a boost Do you see a horse somewhere, guys? We are looking for a horse. The guy tells us that he must not have gone too far. Because he's a bit timid. Do you guys see anything? What is that? I think these are some horse. Yes. Spot. This must be it. Sneaky elixir, sorry. Now you won't be able to catch. You won't be able to run. You won't be able to reject us. Soothe, soothe, soothe. Come on. Good boy. Now where is the landing? Okay. Let's go. Very good horse. Free stamina bars or whatever these bars are for. I don't know what these are for. Good boy. Alright. Hey old man, this is your horse, isn't it? Hey, wait. Let's go. This place. Yes. Purple rupees. We are done. Old man running around uh, munching on grass with the rest of his herd. I really can't believe Swat was wanting me to live like a wild horse again. I'm sorry. I know you went through all that trouble to bring him back to me, but he deserve a freer life than I can give him. It's time for me to let him go. Fine, young horseman like yourself. As long as we are happy, I'll be happy. And that reminds me, please take this swift carrot. Down to the southeast, you can take a bite of those and you can fight a bit more pep in your step. Speed, huh? Happy if you split with your favorite horse too. Alright. We have got ourselves a new horse. What have you found? 